Hello viewers, a very good morning and welcome to Africa and Beyond Television Network. We are taking a look on what is happening in the nation South Africa. The ANC chair Gwede Mantashe is clashed with the DA leader uh, Yelen Zile following uh, some accusations and allegations that she is now a de facto parallel president. And this is something which is very important right now. NCJ Mandashi slams Helen Zile for acting as a parallel president. And this is happening as we speak right now in South Africa. The coalition between the ANC and the DA is actually giving some people within the ANC some sleepless nights. Helen Zile is the leader of the DA and she's being accused of becoming a de facto uh, parallel president. And the major question is how? Let us delve much deeper into this case so that we understand. In a recent statement, the ANC chair, Gwede Mandashe, issued a stern warning to DA federal leader, Helen Zille, accusing her of acting like a parallel president and posing the biggest threat to the survival of the government of national unity. And um, this was reported by Times Live. So something happening in South Africa, things are no longer well uh, in South Africa. And Mantashe's comments come in response to Zile's behavior on social media, where she has reportedly been demanding that DA ministers account to her. Remember, this is a coalition government between the ANC and the DA and other small, small Anyana political parties. In my own view regarding this case, Helen Zile does have the right for the ministers to report to her because they are her ministers. She's one of the people who are leading this political party. She can determine who remains there or what because if she fires one of the ministers from the DA, then what it means is they will have to reassign another person. So you can actually see that, yes, the ANC people would try by all means possible to fight these issues, but they are forgetting one thing which is very important, that they've allowed this to happen under their own watch. So he says, when I open social media, the only worry is when we have a parallel president called Helen Zile outside. Who wants DA ministers to account to her? This is what Gwede Mandashe said. But when he was being warned by fellow ANC members to say, do not get into that government with the DA, he didn't hear. The ANC chair went on to caution that Zile's actions could lead to collapse of the government of national unity if she continues on this path. We are not going to have a parallel government run by Helen Zille, Mandashe stated firmly. The DA has not yet responded to Mandashe's remarks, but the situation is likely to escalate tensions between the two political parties. What is happening is what the ANC has done so far can never be undone as long as Cyril Ramaphosa is still the leader of the ANC. The only thing which can undo the situation is to remove Cyril Ramaphosa as the president. But at this point in time, this is something very important and this is making some comrades within the ANC as well as the comrades across the Limbopo River and ZANPF worried because they do not know what is coming after them. These ministers, they are calling the shots and they are doing what they want. However, Gwede Mandashe is also a minister in his own capacity, which means he cannot control what other ministers are doing because as ministers, they are there to deliver their mandate to craft a policy. And as long as they can be able to defend their positions in cabinet, then Mandashe cannot come out to pretend as if they do not know what happened when they created this marriage of inconvenience. So they say that um, um, as the government of national unity seeks to navigate the challenges facing the country. The last thing it needs is a power struggle between its own members. The ANC and DA have been working together in a coalition government since the 2024 elections, but the relationship has been fraught with tensions and disagreements. This could have been prevented if the ANC had identified EFF and the MK as possible allies because the policies, the ideology the direction of the DA and the direction of the ANC by diverging. So you cannot expect anything better. ANC people, they are very corrupt. While least the DA people, they want to be lesser corrupt as much as the DA people. So, you know, 
the DA does have a bigger role. They want to be the saviors of South Africa. And that in the future, they become the government fully owned and controlled by the whites, which means they will do whatever they can to crush the ANC. And they will do whatever they can to expose the ANC as the most corrupt government. And if they succeed, the people of South Africa will say, Wozababa. So Mandashe's comments suggest that the situation may be reaching a boiling point with the ANC chair clearly drawing a line in the sand. As the political drama unfolds, all eyes will be on Helen Zile and the DA to see how they will respond to Mandashe's warning. So this is it. The most feared thing by the ANC is that if they are to remove um, the DA from the coalition government, how are they going to govern? How are they going to pass laws? How are they going to do some of the things? Because the um, MK was demanding that. let Give us KZN. Give us Gauteng. Then we'll give you in other provinces which you have the majority. And uh, also give us the Limpopo. These are the issues which are being raised. Very important issues right there. So we are going to watch and see what is going to happen and what is going to unfold. Who is going to emerge victorious? Who is going to win in this battle? Remember that the DA is walking the talk and they have started mobilizing mass deportations of South Africa, of um, uh, foreigners living in South Africa. And if you are Zimbabwean, please be safe. Please do whatever you can to be safe in that country. Thank you very much, everybody, for coming. Thank you.